If you're at all compelled about the longevity and expansion of the Miz T Show, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Links below. Hey there, fools. Big T here, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm telling you people to play whatever the hell you want to play. Stop listening to these cornball YouTubers. I know most of the time these the videos are mostly harmless where guys are like, I, should you buy this? Should you? But it is the thing about YouTubing and, you know, I guess similar in video games and probably any form of entertainment is that when something is popular, when something gets a lot of um, hits or views or, you know, sales, people tend to copy it. I mean, you have, uh, you know, the PUBG thing with uh, what's it called? The... Uh, uh, what do they call that gameplay uh, with the battle royale gameplay and a lot of other games followed it because obviously PUBG is super popular on PC and now on Xbox one and so you have you know other companies copying that kind of style that that um, battle royale style you have a uh, Fortnite basically saved itself from extinction by putting in the battle royale mode and you know many other games have done that and so you have the similar thing in movies where Oh, uh, you know, Deadpool did really well. So let's all let's all make R-rated superhero films, you know, kind of stuff like that. And uh, so anytime anything popular happens, uh, people tend to mimic it and copy it, which is, you know, that's you know, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. That's just well, there is there is something wrong with that when everybody starts to do it. Um, that's when, it you know, everything becomes stagnant and just kind of dull and lame. But um, it's not quite there yet. Um, with this in particular as far as uh, people oh uh, before you buy or should you buy this or that kind of nonsense it's not quite there yet but um, just take those types of videos um, as entertainment because some people tend to take them as like you know uh, what they should actually go out and buy and play and enjoy and if you do that you're gonna miss out on a lot of really good games uh, that the person that you watch may not like, but you may like yourself. And, uh, like, you know, if I listen to every reviewer on, uh, I watch a lot of movies, I miss out on a lot of movies that I really enjoy. Uh, if I watch, watch a lot of reviewers that kind of diss uh, movies that I ended up liking, then I wouldn't have ever watched them. So, you know... I, I pretty much know this movie is terrible. I'm going to name a few like Freddy Got Fingered. Freddy Got Fingered is a terrible film, but man, I enjoy the hell out of it. It's so quotable. Um, the Daddy Do You Want Some Sausage. <laughs> it's just it's a hilarious movie to me. And I know it's not a great film, but I enjoy the hell out of it. And another film in that vein would be Grandma's Boy. Like Grandma's Boy to me, um, I think resonates really well with gamers because it has a lot of gamer culture stuff in there. Uh, but I, I find that film hilarious. And I know it's not, again, it's not Citizen Kane, <laughs> but I enjoy the hell out of it. So try to avoid, you know, listening to other people as far as actually not buying something or buying something based on somebody's recommendation. I understand people. Um, they have people that they trust and they will they, or they that they trust and they uh, kind of uh, have same opinions on things. And so, so they tend to buy stuff based on that. And, you know, you do it, like I recommend games. You know, I don't make it a, you know, a mantra of mine that you should you should definitely go get this or um, definitely don't buy that. I usually tell you I usually say games that I recommend for you to buy instead of stuff that you should never touch because uh, one one person's uh, trash is another person's treasure so um, I understand that there are games that I um, play um, I really like Terminator 2 for Super Nintendo and it's you know doesn't have great reviews at all and a lot of people think it's trash but I enjoyed that game so there are gonna be games that you're gonna like that um, that don't fit um, you know the popularity Whole or don't fit um, the critical acclaim, uh, but you know you still might enjoy them yourself. So play whatever the hell you want to play. Don't listen to these, especially the, these cornball <laughs> YouTubers. These me too. Oh, that's what's working. That's what's hitting in videos. So let me copy that. Like I could do a lot of this stuff that these guys do. 
um, to up my views. I've said this plenty of times, but it's just so disingenuous and inauthentic to me. Like I, I like to talk about stuff that I actually like to play and or anything that I like. I, I actually talk about those things because, you know, I'm trying to be authentic and true to myself. I can't just follow the trend. So, you know, I, I don't do the react video most of the time. Um, unless I felt like actually reacting to something, but I, I know that that stuff hits. I'm not dumb. I, I see the numbers. I see people's views on those types of videos and I can do that stuff too. I can do that to bring traffic, but it's just so corny <laughs> to me. It's just so lame. I'd rather do original stuff, even if it doesn't uh, hit as well. And, you know, maybe one, you know, once in a while, something will hit that I, I didn't expect to hit. Um, I did a video about what I thought could have saved the Wii U. I was being a little facetious with that. I had no idea that video would hit over a hundred thousand views. I just thought, you know, I might get my regular, you know, 1500 views or whatever off of it. Um, regular back then, uh, apparently now my video views have gone way down. Something's going on with YouTube. I talked about that before, but. Uh, I had no idea. So, but I was being authentic. I was just like, this is something that I actually wanted for Wii U that I thought would help uh, the sales of it. Um, and that video really hit. And a lot of people were pissed off <laughs> uh, because, you know, again, I said I was being facetious. I wasn't, I, I didn't think that I would actually save the Wii U. I was probably being a little facetious with the titling, but um, I thought it would definitely have helped the Wii U, uh, especially if you. Listen to the fans back then and how they wanted 3DS games uh, or they wanted the 3DS games that were coming out to be on Wii U instead and more focused. So it just made sense. But yeah, I just I see it a lot all the time. It's just like I said, it's corny to me. Um, you know, the market research YouTubers. <laughs> oh, what's hitting? What's trending? What can I what titling can I throw in here? What? Uh, what keywords can I put in my uh, tags and that kind of stuff um, that guys do and I, mean, I, I know I could, I could play the game I just it's just inauthentic to me to do so and to pretend that I'm upset or to pretend I'm super excited about something is mad mad corny <laughs> and you know I see right through that stuff or to put rant in your title and you're not ranting at all there's no real emotion. It's just kind of faux. Emotion is fake. Um, you see that a lot. So, I like I said, I'd rather be authentic, and uh, that's what I'll do. But th like I said, the main topic is to play whatever the hell interests you. And if you th something interests you, play it. You know, maybe it ends up being terrible, but maybe it ends up being one of your favorite games. So, don't uh, cut yourself off to something based on anything you know i hear a lot of guys today especially frame rates this and you know frame rates and how many pixels and all this stuff uh in the games and i'm like when did people start caring i mean you care about it because you don't want the frame rate to hinder your enjoyment of a game but that should never be like a sticking point to whether you buy it uh for me as long as it doesn't affect and I'm not staring at it and it's not bothering my gameplay, my enjoyment of the game. I don't care about the frame rate. I don't, it doesn't have to be a solid 30. Um, if it doesn't affect how I'm playing the game, it doesn't affect my enjoyment and it doesn't have to be a solid 60 all the time. So just be a good game. <laughs> you know, that's all I care about. Or at least a good game to me. Like I said, some people may not like it, may not be critically acclaimed, but you may have fun with it. Um, what, a game in particular right now um, that I've had so much fun in, I didn't expect it at all. It just looked kind of interesting to me, and I bought it. Is Rogue Trooper um, Redux? Um, it's on Xbox One. It's on PS4. I think it's on PC too, and then obviously it's on Switch. And that's I've been playing the crap out of the game. The game doesn't have great frame rates at all times. It, um, it it's muddy at points visually. But it's fun. Like, I have so much fun with the game. So, again, play whatever the hell you want. Don't, you know, actually go buy whatever somebody else says. I'm not going to recommend <laughs> um, Rogue Troopers to everybody because they may not like it as much as I do. I understand that. Um, I'm not going to say you must buy this. 
Um, but I'm going to tell you to not, you know, follow or not believe you shouldn't buy it based on somebody else's critique of it or critical acclaim or not non-critical acclaim or frame rates or you know, megapixels and, you know, um, you know, whatever the uh, 1080p or 720, none of that stuff should matter. Um, if something interests you, check it out, play it, have fun. You might have a lot of fun, actually. Or you might not, you know, trial and error, you know, so that's what games are about, is discovering cool things. But yeah, that's it for this video. Um, thanks for listening and watching. Stay away from the cornball <laughs> YouTubers who are so cookie cutter and so blatant and so obvious in their market research titled the videos and their market researched um, uh, fake reaction and fake emotion and play whatever the hell you want. Whatever interests you, check it out. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and listening, and I'll see you fools next time. Peace out.